tutorial and this one I kind of kept the eyes a little neutral at the top with a blue pop of color because I was trying to Im Im um, incorporate the blue eyes that's in my shirt today so if you want to see how I achieved this simple with the pop of color and of course my spin on it with a glitter that you can add if not you can skip that step but I wouldn't be Kales if I didn't add my glitter so if you want to see how I achieve this pretty simple look do stay tuned for the video guys bye so I've already started priming my lid with max soft ochre paint pots which looks like that now I'm going to use a transition color well let me start out with brow, a brow highlight I'm going to use blunt type just a matte brow. I'm starting out with max blunt type as my highlight. The color I'm going to take is Max Saddle with that same fluffy brush and put this directly into my crease. Okay, so we should have something like that. Just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is take a more tapered brush and a darker brown which is going to be espresso which looks like that that and just a more tapered this is I think tapered than that um, other brush we just used so we're just gonna put this directly here in the crease and not going too far in we just want to define the crease and kind of make a V so we just make a V go like this Make a V like that. You see the V? Like that. Okay. So when we have it as dark as we like. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and use Naked Pigments by MAC. It's just a nice. Oh, I don't have. It's in a sample bottle. But Naked Pigment is what I'm going to put um, in my inner corner and in my tear duct. right there and you know sweep it up and sweep it onto our lid to meet with that dark color we just put we're gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and blend it out Okay, so it should look like that. The next thing I'm just going to use, um, Max Gorgeous Gold pigment will work, but of course I'm going to use my OCC pigment, which is that really pretty um, iridescence. Which, it's like a yellow and old, Max Old Gold pigment will work just fine. So I'm going to just add that right in the middle of the lid. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up, blend it out. And that's pretty much the top lid. Pretty simple color, um, pretty simple concept. This is not the original blue that I wanted to use, but it'll work. This is the MAC High Def Scion, and I'm going to use that at the bottom. Couldn't find my pencil sharpener, so this is the only real blue that was sharpened enough to use. So we should have something like that. And on the end, I didn't want it so so blue. Um, so I went on and added on the end to mix it. I put a purple, and this one is Urban Decay Ransom. It looks blue, but it's actually purple. And I just added that on the end. And blended it so it'll be darker blue. So it 
So it should look something like that. Okay, so we have that so far. And now, only thing we have to do is put a mascara on. Oh, and my waterline, I put a um, a I don't even know how do you describe that. This, but this is called Guilty White. Of course, you see it's a limited color, so like a off-white or if you want to do white, that'll be fine. And I put that in my waterline. I'm gonna go ahead and add lashes, and I will return to show you what I use with the rest of my face. As I was adding my lashes, I did remember I forgot a step. I did add blue mascara. This is Dior Show 258. And I did add that to my bottom lash line, my bottom lashes. Just to give some more color. Different blues. like a cobalt blue it's really pretty so this is what the eyes look like so far but of course I wouldn't be Kales if I didn't add some glitter so you can leave it like this but you know me so of course I'm gonna grab the infamous Urban Decay distortion I have to I'm like addicted I cannot go out the house without it so I'm just gonna add it just right here And it just gives like a, a, I don't know if it'll show up, but it gives a pretty like iridescence. I'm here scraping a bottle because I'm out because I use it like almost every day of my life. And that's how it looks. I'm going to add just a little bit right here where that blue ends. Right there. So it'll have a. This is my, um, this is my eyes without anything. Uh, I think I'm going to need a little bit. That blue is not sure. I'm just going to put a little, I'm just going to put a little black mascara just on the ends on here. Because it's not dark enough on the ends. So just on the ends. Right there. Okay. So that's my eyes, guys. I'm going to go ahead and add a plain blush. Um, let's do NARS Torden blush. And it looks like this. So I'm going to use NARS Torden Tord blush and just add that to my cheeks. So that's going to be my blush for today. I'm going to do Whisper of Guilt by MAC. My battery's about to die and I have to run out the house. Whisper of Guilt looks like that. So, and for my lips, I already put on Bombshell. MAC's Bombshell, which looks like this. 